Okay guys, I'm Boone Down South. Today we're going to review the 10 point string dampening system. We're going to give it a shot. It says it is micro adjustable and easy to install. So we're going to find out. So stay tuned, hit that like and subscribe. Okay, so the one thing that Wicked Ridge M370 does not come with is a string dampening system. So I purchased a 10 point string dampening system. There's a couple of them online. This is HC148 is a part number for it. Now on the packaging, it does not list the Wicked Ridge M370, but online it says this is what will fit the M370 and I called 10 point directly and asked them. So we're gonna put this on, see if there's any difference in noise and cable wobble. So I come from shooting a crossbow all my life. And so this whole rotator cuff tear thing has got me all messed up and it's all new now. So, but I do know the importance of trying to keep things dampened, the strings quiet, uh, everything else. I know it's a crossbow, but honestly, I've been able to reload narrow after I shot a deer in the woods in Ohio once without with deer standing around me. So um, it can be done as long as you're quiet. So anyway, we're gonna put this on and see what it does. All right, so right off the bat, 10 point gets a bonus 10 points because they package it in a package where once you take the tape off, you can open it up instead of have to fight through and cut through all this plastic that's always sealed on all these packages. So plus 10 for that. Okay, just a few parts to it. Instructions on the inside package. Looks pretty simple. So we're gonna hook it up and see what it does. All right, guys, it's been like two and a half, three weeks since I started this video on the 10 point SDS. This is the HCA 148 model of the string dampening system. I got this, whoops, I got it from my Wicked Ridge M370. The thing is, is when you look online, it says it is uh, it is for the Wicked Ridge M370. When you look at the product packaging, it does not say anything about the Wicked Ridge M370, obviously because they were making this before this came out this past year. So they just haven't updated their packaging. So anyway, so I went to install it two and a half weeks ago and nothing seemed to fit and work well. They also have these little adapters and they, they tell you in the instructions that you might have to put these spacers are really what they are. They're spacers to fit in different crossbows. And you got to put this on the system here. Basically do something like, whoops, wrong way. Basically do something like that to, to put a block in there so it slides in to the, uh, the string groove up there. And these things will meet in the middle like that and screw together. However, when I did it, it wouldn't work. So then I called them up and talked to 10 Point. And they said, well, uh, we're gonna have to send you longer screws. So you don't have in the package what you need. And they really need to update this documentation a little bit specific to the bows. So they were gonna send me out some screws. So I gave them 10 points before for their nice packaging. I'm taking 20 off now because I waited a week and still hadn't received these extra screws. And then I finally got the screws in, in this package here, after I called in a second time after a week had gone by and they informed me they forgot to send them out. So longer screws that you need to pass through these things. So we have all that. But before I assemble this, one of the other things you're gonna to need to do if you're using this bow and, and they, or this crossbow, because they tell you in the instructions, these are the longer rods that come on here to start with, okay? And they have shorter rods. You are gonna need the shorter rods for the Wicked Ridge, okay? The other thing you're gonna to need to do, I don't know if you can see the screw right here, but this rod is too long even for this M370. So they tell you to cut it right there. So I'm going to take this up to the shop. We're going to cut that off of both rods and then we're going to assemble this thing and hopefully it's all going to go together well. So let's do it. So, uh, they recommend using a hacksaw. I'm going to use a Dremel with a cutoff bit. So I'm going to put it in my vise and get this thing cut. And there we go. If you do this, it's going to be super hot when you get done because it is all metal so just don't grab it right away put it right back in the groove all right let's go mount this thing on the crossbow all right so i'm just taking these pieces and i am threading them all the way in to give me maximum room to work with it's still just a little bit hot from cutting it so those are my two pieces there allen wrench Going back to the original ones, pulling the rubber knob off. You see, these can be cut too, depending on which crossbow model, because this does, this HCA 148 is for multiple different types of crossbows. Um, and they're listed on the website and on the package. Like I said, just the N370 is the newer model, and 
they were not uh, specific to it. Just pop those on there like that. Okay, and you can see the slotted groove that you want to line up, but you can kind of adjust this and you can put set screws in the end of here once you have this adjuster where you need it to be. And they come in the package as well. So I'm just threading it all the way in to give me maximum room. Now, the way they're going to go in is they're going to come in right here. Okay, and you can see how this kind of works in there. It's going to feel like this. Okay, but the issue is with this particular model, we need the block adapters. So let's see, that's the right side. The right side took this one. Just have to, whoop. That's gonna fit on there like that. This is gonna fit on like that. Okay. Now, these are the longer bolts they sent me. And one goes on one side. It's all gonna kind of fit together loosely until we run it through here. And I'm with this particular crossbow, I really think you want to come up as far to the front as you can. And these blocks are kind of iffy in here, and you just kind of get to get that thread started. I kind of test fit this a little bit ago. I'm all the way to the front. Once you have it close, get your Allen wrench there and get one of these started. All right, now we're going to get the Allen started. So I've got my dampeners adjusted. You'll see there's a groove here. In the slot so it's right there at the string now so both of them are touching the string and i'm going to go ahead and set my set screws in here to lock these these dampeners in that position then we're going to give it a test shot and see what kind of difference it makes all right so we do have a bag of, of uh, lock screws it looks like they got some loctite on them and they're going to thread right into the side here i really shouldn't be doing this over a pile of leaves to be honest with you because that's how they're going to fall and i'm going to lose it okay that's good all right and they give you a separate Allen wrench for this as well. I think so. Okay. All right, we got the string dampener on, everything's tightened up, set screws are in place. It does have a snug fit. It's not going anywhere. I feel confident about that. I feel like I got a good fit, but like I said, for this bow, you do have to cut the rods, use the short rods, cut them short, and then you're gonna need the longer screws, which you're gonna have to call them to have them send you because they don't come in the package if you're using this model. If you're using several other models, it'll work just fine out of the package. So. We're gonna go ahead and load this thing up, get a bolt in it, and we're gonna do a top down, get a slow-mo video, and see if it makes any difference on the noise and how much vibration it seems to stop. So let's give that a shot. Although a bit unscientific, you can see from the sound waves that were recorded here the difference in the two shots. All right, there you've got it. We got the string dampening system on the Wicked Ridge M370. Again, that's the HC8 148 model of string dampening system for this crossbow. So you definitely put the side by side videos for you now so you can kind of see the difference. Uh, definitely stops the vibration, which just has to affect the shot to some degree. I don't know really how much the noise affects until I kind of watch both videos. And take a look at it but anyway adds a little more weight to it but that's okay because right now there's the lightest crossbow on the market that's what they say so we're gonna get some more hunting in coming this weekend with this bow and then we're going to ohio so if you would hit that like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time